lovelies welcome back to my channel for those that are seeing my face for the first time in this channel we talk about migration nursing and everything else we are in a series where we are talking about abraham maslow a psychologist where we are applying his theory into job hunt so we already have two episodes where we were talking about the first two levels which are physiological needs and the safety and security now today we are going to touch on to sense of belonging when you are abroad or sense of below how to maintain sense of belonging when you are abroad so if you are seeing my face for the first time my name is Mboi please do consider to subscribe share this video with your loved ones and go back to my old videos and watch them they might change your life they might change someone you know's life or maybe share them on your timelines facebook tiktok or even in whatsapp i also have a facebook account where i share all my links so do follow me on facebook follow me on tiktok i'll leave my links for all other social media platforms that i have now let us crack on into today's business moving abroad is not an easy task and most of the times one family member will leave come in the uk or any other parts of the world do the processes and then settle after settling that's when they bring their family members and during this time the sense of belonging is compromised most of the times when we move abroad we don't even look into sense of belonging but you need to put this into consideration before you can move look into places that you can be able to say there are more people of my culture there are more churches that I can join. There are more social groups that I can join. There is a lot of local music that is played in that area or something like that. Because truly speaking, sense of belonging is the last thing that we ever think. If not, we are not even thinking about it. You will only realize once you are in the foreign country that you lack, you lack sense of belonging. Um, I'm saying this because I came here by myself and when I came here I was depressed and that was the most difficult time of my life and truly speaking if you don't have a supportive system you will end up um, ending it all meaning yeah so truly try to look into sense of belonging before you come abroad there are a few things that you can do that will give you a sense of belonging while you are still planning to bring your family abroad. So, in any country where you are, there should be <laughs> someone from your culture. If not, then you need to find people of your color or from your own continent, such as if you are an African, or if you are a Chinese or if you are an Asian find people from Asia if you are an African find people from Africa if you are from an you are an American find people from America those countries are just big continents these continents are big but at least you know that this person will be able to understand my culture more than the British people or you can integrate with the British culture and try to learn so that you have that sense of belonging as you wait for your family to come along. So if you are a nurse and you want to come in UK, you need to have your personality checked. And if you are a reserved person like myself, try to mingle because if you are like myself, you will suffer. I talk too much, I love social media. And people who know me from social media and don't know me personally will think I'm a talkative, but I'm actually a very silent person, very introvert. I have a very short temper and sometimes <laughs> I, I, I struggle to deal with things. So try to find social groups that will suit your personality. Look into that. There is too much information on the social media 
there's too much information on google or any search engine that you can use look into that before you apply for a job so that you can be able to mingle with people you can be able to cover your social being because you will suffer the depression if you don't take into consideration the sense of belonging and also if you are a professional nurse you have to have a professional organization that will back up you in cases of a need um, or if you are you have grievances at work or you have been accused of anything you need to have representation like a lawyer or something so in uk there is a nursing body that is called rcn that you need to if you are a nurse i would advise you to join rcn pay every month so that they if there is anything any grievance at work you will be able to be represented because some of the accusations you won't be able to handle them yourself they need someone who is specialized in law for you to represent you so that you can be able to can be able to deal with your case so with rcn it is going to help you with your mental health your mental well-being it also is going to help you present you in terms of grievances at work it can also help you with something that has to do with your indemnity with your nursing council which is nmc they are also going to help you with your visa applications if there is a need so if you are a nurse you have to be able to have someone who will be on the standby if in cases of need because when you are a nurse you are not specialized in everything but with rcn you will be represented in terms in many aspects like visa applications you can be represented in, in workplace disputes you can be represented in mental health issues so try to join rcn immediately if you are a nurse but if you are not a nurse and you come as a carer or any other profession professions in uk have regulating bodies and have regulating or associations that you can join that will represent you in terms of grievances or in terms of support so join organizations that will support you so that you know that in in case i go through that or in case i go through this there is something that will say, support me that will get your sense of belonging far away from home some of us don't take into consideration cultural celebrations i know i'm one of those people but when i came in uk i found a large community of basutu people that i did not even know that exists there are so many basutu people in this country so many so many people are in this country students nurses doctors and other professions even people who came here through home affairs even people for foreign affairs there is a office in uk in london where we can be even able where we can be able to apply for a passport when we are still in this country so you will find a larger community when you are in this country find that community and join the whatsapp groups tell people that you are in this country and so that if there is anything that needs people to take care of you or assist you in some way they will be able to do that then lastly i'll say to you form relationships at work um <laughs> I want to reinforce this your colleagues are not your friends at work you are at work you need to behave professionally but you need to also form relationships at work in case you may need people you you might be able to help someone or you might be able to get help from someone at the workplace so you when you are at work 
form reasonable relationships and this will only be achieved if when you are job hunting you look into places where you you will have people of your closest cultural aspects if you are an african look for a place where there are many africans if you are an asian look for place where there are many asians if you are an american look into a place where there are many americans so that you can also maintain the sense of belonging and form relationships that work at the workplace but don't confuse relationships at work with friendship at work you don't have a friend you have professional relationships but if at some point you have a colleague that you think your personality clicks and later on you become friends you need to have strength or you need to be able to build strength to separate friendship relationship and work relationship because those can never work if you mix those in a workplace it will not work so don't you ever have friends at work but if you happen to have friends at workplace know how to differentiate between friendship and work relationship okay i know i said lastly but this is my last point social media will help you so if you are someone who aspire to work abroad join social media have a social media platform where you will be able to share your experiences talk to people through social media that will help you so join social media it will help you a lot so if you don't have a social media platform like facebook uh, twitter tiktok uh, x app join them so that when you are here you can be able to interact with many people on social media my social media grew so much when i came i was already a social media personality when i was back home like i survived on social media but came coming here changed my perspective towards social media and i even enjoy it more than my eight to nine work <laughs> So join social media, if not, try to join social media while you are still at home and be as active as you can so that when you come here, you have a huge fellow followership that will support you. So join in social media platforms and be able to identify toxic social media idioms. Because if you are not able to identify the toxic parts of social media, it can drown you so be able to identify the support that comes with social media and know that you are doing this to maintain your safety and security with sense of belonging according to maslow because when you belong in a certain of social group and they have say similar expectations similar outcomes similar everything you will be able to perform well at work you'll be able to use your instincts in choosing a proper job so that you can maintain your life so that you can be able to maintain your first level of maslow hierarchy of needs which is physiological needs because in in his pyramid the first thing that is the one that you need to put into consideration more than any other so sense of belonging it takes priority in job hand in a way that you need to make sure that you choose a place where you will find people of your same culture or close culture or if not the culture that you will be able to blend in Thank you very much for watching this video thus far. I'll see you in my next upload. Bye.